Christ compels you. <laughs> I'm good. The sun's going to melt all this water and I'll be good. If I need any more, I'll go out to that lake over there. You might get eaten by alligators. Oh, man. The mysterious <laughs> alligators are a real bitch around here. All I got to be on is a ton of PCP. I'll be fine. Without any more further ado, the 45th President of the United States of America. Let's make Crazy Michaela Mondays great again. We all love the sweep. Am I right, folks? I'm always right. Stupid question. I know. Now give it up for my good friend, Daddy White. He's doing a great job, really. Okay. Okay, uh, I guess I'll just play the intro first. You are listening to The Sweep. Sweep, sweep, sweep! Exclusively on YouTube. All praise the YouTube overlord. I can't believe you've done this. So this is a very interesting uh, episode, I must say. We're on miles of private land owned by our special guest here, Jerry. A.K.A. Dairy Jerry. A.K.A. Milk Me Daddy. Oh, and he will milk you. Oh, of course. He'll milk them cows over there, too. There's no cows in this land. Jerry, why don't you have Hor- cows? Horses. Are you going to milk a horse? You know uh, why I don't have cows? Why not? Because you have to chase them bitches. <laughs> oh, you do have to round them up, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Horses just kind of stay put, don't they? Fences don't keep cows in. Well, I wasn't sure what day to do on this one. Technically, since this is a public recording, somewhat, uh, it's, uh... It's Crazy Michaela M- M- Monday! No! God, please, no! 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 What do you think about that? It's Crazy Michaela Monday, Jerry. Crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. We... Crazy. This is the first time our podcast has ever done anything quite like this. Let me put you in the scenario we're in. We're sitting on uh, some rickety chairs on a porch, surrounded by dog food, looking out on some pretty pretty beautiful land, I must say. The lake looks very great. And the sun is just beaming down on us. Oh yeah, I like how every day was actually pretty like cool, and then the one day we decided to come outside, the one day it's 92 degrees. Yeah. Why is that? Texas. Because they hate us. Yeah, I think so. And then the one day it decides to also be 92, my uh, car AC seems to break also. So now I'm just riding around old school with the window down. And don't forget, y'all are both sweating alcohol. We oh, are yeah. because we drank heavily last night. Yeah. Man, this is just a recipe for a crap show. That uh, that bubblegum vodka and bubblegum rum was excellent last night. Yeah, I was taking shots of that rum like, like water, basically. Yeah. All right. Well, as you know, I'm Daddy White. Daddy White. Oh yes, Daddy. Wrong. And I am El Pollo Loco fighting a bee. <laughs> El Pollo Loco. Our special guest, Milk Me Daddy. Milk Me Daddy. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry hasn't listened to our podcast before, so this is all new to him. Jerry is also an older gentleman. The oldest person we've had on the podcast so far. Pushing 29. Pushing 29. Pushing 29. Man, we got a real young demographic around here. <laughs> yeah, our usual listeners are about 11. Even nine-year-olds, I would say. Yeah, exactly. So, Jerry, why don't you tell us again about the, um, that drug addict that you found on the property? Well, it wasn't exactly on your property, was it? No, it wasn't on my property, but uh, come home one morning from church and uh, get out here and we get a... I hear a... Hello. So I started investigating and uh, find this guy buried up in the drink over here in the next door pond fighting demon alligators. <laughs> <laughs> So wait a minute, did you, did, so you helped him out of the pond, didn't you? Yeah. Or you let him fight I, the alligators? I, I drug him out of the pond. There's no alligators over here. He had, uh, you know, had too many uh, snorts of something or cranks of this or that or whatever and uh, wandered off and ended up in drink. And drink meaning pond, okay? Was he in the deep part or was he in the shallow part? No, he just, he fell off the bank and was right at the edge of the pond. He was in the water, but... He just did. He was so fucked up. It, he couldn't like say, realize how to get out. If I can of the say water. fucked up, yeah. uh, he just didn't know how to get out. So he just sat there and held 
you know, yelled help. Well, until, I'm, glad, I'm glad you found him so he didn't drown in the two foot water. Yeah, it's just been, it would have been bad fishing and drug him up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I caught something. <laughs> so, today's episode, the, technically the topic is chickens. So, chicken. Chickens. 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 <laughs> so let's. You know, I love chicken. Any way you cook it, or any way you deal with it, I like chickens. You like chickens? I raised some chickens. I mean, his name is El Pollo Loco. So let, let me tell you about what happened to our chickens. So when they got too big for the cage, we gave them to Bab's little brother. Who's Maribel's? Maribel, my girlfriend's oh, brother. Okay. On the show, her name is Bab. Should have brought them out here. Well, let, let's tell you about what we did to our chickens because. You didn't choke them, did you? We did something to them. They're apparently psychos. Because they're, number one, they're twice as big as all her other brother's chickens that they uh, that her brother raised. So they're huge in comparison to all these other chickens. Also, they stay together in a group, since I guess they're raised together. They only hang out with each other. And they're also vicious. They attack other chickens. And one of them, named Bert escaped into the attic and was fighting a cat to death. They also, uh, apparently I found out that they teamed up. And I guess when chickens smell weakness, they kill it. Because apparently, she, uh, from what she was told by her brother, our three chickens stomped to death a gray chicken. They stomped them to death. Our chickens are psychotic. We don't know how this happened. But they're best friends. Yeah. They got each other, but they kill people. I mean, they kill other chickens. Well... When it comes to chickens, just like men, they're always on the hunt for a lay. And when they saw the cat, they thought, pussy. Oh, okay. okay. Makes I sense. a joke there. Yeah, yeah. That's my thought. Can you give chicken like? Can you give chickens mental problems? By keeping them too confined in a space? No. This doesn't make no sense how our chickens are, number one, so big compared to the other chickens. We well, feed them well. Yeah, we did feed them well. Number two, why are they psychotic? And do chickens have emotional bonds? Because they only hang out with each other. They won't hang out with the other chickens. I, I don't know if you had a rooster in the mix. Yeah, we do. We have two chickens and a rooster. Okay, two chickens and roosters. The two chickens that are roosters are constantly going this way. Because mm. they want to control the, the hens that you had. So only one of those roosters can be dominant. Until one of them wins, it's just not going to be pretty. So you're saying basically it's not even that they stick together. It's Bert and his two fan club. Yeah. 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 Wow. It's 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 rooster against rooster trying to dominate hens. Okay. That and makes sense. if they're both equal and and they fight amongst each other, they're not ever going to dominate the hens. Mm. So psychotic thing comes in where they're not going to get any because they're still fighting over who's going to be daddy. Daddy white. Oh, yes, Daddy. Wrong. Milk me, Daddy. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah! Got milk? No, see, what happens is they fight. Daddy, water milk me, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> but see, what happens is they're fighting, and then the little, the other rooster that's like, oh, I'm not into fighting, he's going to move in and get the chicks, because they're preoccupied. No, 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 no one gets, uh, until the fight is done, mm. no one gets a hand. With the drinking last night and the heat, I may throw up. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. I could go for some chicken right now, though. You got a leg in there. You want a leg? <laughs> Just a random leg? Yeah. We, uh, well, I wanted to stop by Chicken Express after oh, this. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to stop by Chicken Express after this. But uh, you don't have any chickens right now, do you? All your chickens are gone. So you just have horses and uh, all these dogs that all came from the same dog? Yeah. I had uh, 175, and a, a wild dog came in and killed every one of them. You killed all 175 of them? And he must have really got the taste for blood. Yeah, I need to check to see if that chicken that died was a rooster or not. Because that makes sense. I guess, like, if it is a rooster, you know, him and uh, his fan club would stomp him out because he's competition, right? So that's what they do. It's not like they... They don't have, like, a higher... Well, they just... What they do is they fight. One wins, the other one backs off. Oh, okay. It's 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 a dominance thing. Mm. Okay? Uh, when, when that one rooster wins, he's the cock in the walk. <laughs> that's what the, I mean that's how that's how they explain that the cock in the walk yeah I think wildlife is scaring Don it was a butterfly I thought it was a wasp because it was yellow and black yeah, you don't have to worry about any animals there's no wasps over here Shoot. I don't believe you yeah no I don't I, 
I was fearing a snake was going to bite me the whole time I was out here. Yeah. Nah. The, the only snake that's going to bite you is Milk Me Daddy's snake. Yeah, for real. It's going to throw up white <laughs> stuff, too. It looks like Betty White holding a dead snake in her mouth. <laughs> Your phone's going off. Who's, who's messaging that's a, that's you? That's a bad... Please tell them that you're recording a, a show. No. Actually, you know, I got that from <laughs> uh, from that Netflix show, Paradise PD. Because there's an old guy in there and he gets naked because they, th- they make him think he's dead. So he strips down and he goes, finally, you know, screw y'all. Then he gets naked and everyone's like, oh my god, it looks like a dead... It looks like Betty White with a dead snake in her mouth. Let's uh, talk about your teeth. <laughs> Two front teeth. You mean it's four no, front teeth? No, 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 no. No! Four front teeth. Four front teeth. Yeah. Okay. Thought I want for Christmas is my four front teeth. Oh, would you actually be mad if you opened up your present and it actually was a set of dentures? Would you would be okay be, with that? Would it be mad? Yeah, would you be like okay no, with what, it? No, would... you just can't open up, you know, the thing is you can't open up a present and there be teeth. It's a process. You have to But what if it's like the, what if it's like the sentiment like your daughter comes and is like, here dad, here's dentures. Not that these are going to fit you, but this means we're going to get well, you. Well, I, I have dentures. You didn't see them? No. No. I sent y'all a picture last year of what my... Oh, yeah. I remember yeah, this now. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. this uh-huh. now. So which ones do you like? I mean, was those the ones you got out of the 25 cent machine? <laughs> no, it cost me a buck. <laughs> <laughs> it was a set of Bubba teeth or a set of vampire teeth. I think you should do vampire teeth. Well, the vampire teeth made me feel... Well, I'll tell you, you know, girls are still qu- crazy over Twilight. I mean, oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure you could be Team Edward. All uh, right, just, just, just send them my way. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you'd like a lot of 14-year-old girls screaming at you. No, not 14. they got to be at least 18. Oh, man. Oh, in Texas, that can be 17. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't long to convince Jerry. No. It really is Milk Me Daddy. I could, I could see someone like Jerry really? in the 17? setting. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really is 17. But I think you just you, opened Jerry's you already, eyes. Yeah, you already knocked up a 17-year-old. We sent you that picture that, uh, with that half-black girl. Half-what? That half-black girl with that extended belly. That guy looked just like you. Yeah, that guy. He's just no, a little more hairy. Oh, you don't remember getting that? I, I sent you a picture, and you were like, that looks just like me. I'll show it to you again. Because <laughs> one day I was surfing the uh, interweb, like I normally do, and I came across this picture, and I was like, is it Jerry? <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw that. That 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 picture do I have a receding hairline? No. No, you but know, look at look that at That guy that guy was bald up here. <laughs> yeah, but this But I'm telling you this that, looks just like I you. know he does. <laughs> it looks just like him in the face. I, I'm telling you he looked exactly like me. Well you know what it looks like? It looked kinda like you and Doctor Phil had a baby. No. No, not quite that. He grew some chest hair? <laughs> but see he's hiding his cock. <laughs> oh, so if it was you, you wouldn't be hiding your cock. Is that what's going on? I don't think he has to show it with the pregnant teenager girl in front of him. So is there anything you want to say to the fans at home? Eat more chicken. Eat more chicken. Actually, one thing I noticed when we were coming through this land, I was telling uh, Dawn about this when we were coming through. I was like, you know, you have the perfect setting that we can just shoot the most low-budget horror movie here. Horror? Horror. Not horror. Horror. Oh. <laughs> not horror. Not horror movie. I don't know, man. It's going to look too messy with that dirt. Yeah. I want to shoot a horror movie out here. A horror movie, maybe. I mean, yeah, I, I just don't see how we'd get a bunch of girls twerking out here in the mud. But I do have one question, Jerry. Where did you get all of this stuff from? You have so much stuff. Where did you get all this stuff from? Yeah, it looks like my room outside. 30, <laughs> yeah. 30 years of being out here. Oh, you've been out on this land for 30 years? Yep, my month. But you're only 29. I'm celebrating the 30th anniversary of my 29th birthday. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, is what happened is like, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Call of Duty. There's like a point where you level up so much that you get to the highest and then you prestige and start over again. Is that what keeps happening? You only make it to 29, so then you go back down and you just start over Well, again? no, I'm, you know, I'm I'm young at heart. I can, Are take you really- a, I can take on anybody. Is it like Peter Pan, you know, you're never going to grow up? Peter Pan? Yeah. You know, like he's a. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely not. Should I censor that? <laughs> I probably would. Okay. I'm just uh, one of those guys that uh, lives. Yeah, actually, I lives w- and let lives. Yeah. Live and, and let and die. You, you can come onto the property, and but you can never leave. Right. Oh, you can leave. I mean, what about that sex cult you got in the back? 
They won't bother you. Oh, okay. <laughs> they won't bother you. <laughs> Just in the back. <laughs> they worship the great Jerry. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, no, no. Actually, no. They don't worship Jerry. Oh, oh, oh they worship Hogue. Yeah, That's I was about right. to say they worship That's Hogue. Right. Did we get flyovers from... Uh, the Taliban? No, the uh, <laughs> WAF. Oh, really? You hear them? Yeah, they're trying to film your sex cult. They're see, on to you. See, team. having the armory next door, uh-huh. we get a lot of flyovers. Oh, the armory's literally next door? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's where it is. I've been wondering yeah. all these people. You know, we get, we get uh, lots of aircraft uh, helicopter. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like those old 1950 things before they yeah. dropped the bombs on us. Exactly. That's exactly you what know. you hear. When the Germans heard that, heard yeah. that, they shit their pants. Oh, yeah. like the mic's picking this up hardcore. Yeah. Yo, oh god, yes. Oh god, I did not expect oh, that. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's same here. Well, we're coming up on twenty minutes. This has been great. I would love to talk longer on the podcast, but I'm about to die. Yeah, and actually, I really want some more water too. That's inappropriate <laughs> to drink on the podcast. See, I think does beer. Anything that's not liquor. <laughs> See, Jerry's got the right idea. He's drinking beer. It falls in line with uh, with our podcast morals. This has been a sweep. I'm going to have Jerry do the honor of signing us off, so I'm going to have to teach him quick, basic Japanese, German, and Spanish. You ready for this? Arigato. Gazamas. Have a nine. Guten tag. Tu madre espoyo. There you go, guys. Those horses scared the crap out of me. So let me set up the scenario. Anthony's just talking to Jerry like nothing's happening, but I'm off in the distance... Or I'm trying to get into the car and I look off in the distance and there's just horses slowly galloping towards me and I'm sitting there struggling trying to open this car door and they just steadily come and I'm like, Anthony, would you please open the door? He was very frantic. Um, I didn't know someone could be so scared of horses, but it was a little scary because they were all starting to come. Yeah. Jerry was standing there. All at once. Yeah. Yes. And then when I saw the little one that I thought was a baby, but later on found out it was just a miniature horse. Uh, And if you don't know, we're in Chicken Express right now. Yeah, so you might hear the faint sound of a uh, Puss in Boots on the TV. <laughs> it's on Disney XD, I believe. I think it's Cartoon Network, actually. Oh, Cartoon Network, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, because uh, Shrek is DreamWorks. Is DreamWorks connected with Cartoon Network? Yeah. I actually didn't know that. Yeah, because uh, didn't DreamWorks originally do the backyard animals, and then it became a show on Cartoon Network? Maybe, but you know that sh- the show, like, I think is um, Cartoon Network, there's that Hotel Transylvania one? Yeah. And Hotel Transylvania is owned by Sony. Oh, it might just be a thing. Yeah, so just I don't be know. like a contract thing. Exactly. So that was an interesting episode with Jerry. Yes. There was little time. There's going to be little tiny short video clips in the beginning of the podcast. I hope y'all enjoyed those because I hate video. Yeah, and we're going to be hanging out with Jerry again in two weeks. We will not be podcasting, but we will be shooting a lot of guns. A lot of guns. I'm very excited. Thank God we live in Texas. Oh yeah. Thank God Jerry has skinny long land. Yeah. Just like his peepee. But since it was Crazy Michaela Monday, we had to at least record a, a follow up to that podcast we just did in an actual restaurant, and we chose the Good Old Chicken Express, where the black ladies love my nails. It is so ghetto here. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know what it is. It's like I, I come to Chicken Express and I get a little slice of South Dallas. Oh yeah, you get a little slice of South Dallas in a country town. I, I don't understand it. I like how when she was talking about my nails, everybody rushed forward, and we got a free. Uh, Family size rolls. I'm also thinking that they gave us more of those express chicken strips than they should have, because man, that was a lot of chicken strips. I was just like, you got the spicy. Yes, it was very spicy too. It was good. My stomach is kind of hurting though. Okay, so this was just a little tidbit we were gonna do. Hope y'all have a good one, and see you later. Take old biddies.